Nevada Geothermal Power is an experienced energy developer committed to producing clean, renewable geothermal electric power. An international geothermal development company with project operations in the western U.S. and corporate offices in Reno, Nevada and Vancouver, Canada, NGP has five properties in the western United States, Blue Mountain, Pumpernickel, Black Warrior and Edna Mountain in Nevada, and Crump Geyser in Oregon. Geothermal power is cost-effective, reliable, sustainable, and environmentally friendly. It's not subject to variations in its energy supply like solar or wind power. Geothermal is renewable green power 24-7. NGP's current focus on Nevada and the surrounding regions is based on three guiding principles. Because of the geography of the area, Nevada contains some of the best geothermal resources in the U.S. Nevada fosters a business-friendly environment, and the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act provides attractive stimulus packages for renewable energy production and manufacturing. Nevada Geothermal Power's energy projects have a combined production potential of up to 200 megawatts, enough to power about 200,000 homes. NGP's flagship project, the Blue Mountain Faulkner One Power Plant, is online and generating revenue. The Blue Mountain Geothermal Field near Winnemucca, Nevada, has advantages over many other geothermal properties. The geothermal resource is close to the surface, it has easy road access, and it's situated within 21 miles of the electric transmission grid. It was first discovered in the 1980s while searching for gold, but it was soon determined that the location was much better suited for generating electrical power. Well, a timeline to develop a plant like this really starts out with uh, developing the geothermal resource to make sure that the resource is here and is viable. Uh, second thing would really be to uh, sign a power purchase agreement, and in this case it was with NV Energy. We have a long-term power purchase agreement with them. Uh, and then we would move on to the EPC contract, which is engineering procurement and construction contract with uh, a contractor that would basically turnkey the plant for us. Uh, they would do the design and construction of the plant. NGP took the Faulkner One project from the first hot production well to operations in less than three years. Plant construction was completed in 11 months. It was placed into service on October 12, 2009 four months ahead of schedule. We've proven that this is a great resource and uh, that the plant can come online ahead of schedule. Uh, it also proved that we've got a, a great team to be able to do this. And you know, the, the, the one big benefit is uh, additional revenue, early revenue. This is a state-of-the-art power plant with a gross nameplate capacity of 49.5 megawatts. Testing indicates that the maximum output is close to 60 megawatts. NGP's net target is to generate 45 megawatts. Blue Mountain is a binary design. There are virtually zero greenhouse gas emissions since 100% of the power generating fluid is pumped back into the ground for long-term reservoir management. Well, this, this state-of-the-art binary plant is as clean of energy as you can find today. Every drop of brine that we get out of the ground ends up being re-injected into the ground. Uh, there's no CO2 emissions, there's no NOx emissions, very clean system. Blue Mountain is a leading-edge, water-cooled facility, making it more efficient in hot summer months than air-cooled systems. And also geothermal, relatively speaking, is a pretty small footprint. You can see it doesn't take up much acreage, and yet we're producing 40 megawatts of power. A 21-mile transmission line was built with a capacity of 125 megawatts to accommodate future expansion at Blue Mountain. The estimated resource potential of the entire Blue Mountain property is 73 megawatts or more. And with the opening of Blue Mountain, Nevada Geothermal Power became one of the first companies to benefit from ERA and receive a $58 million grant for successfully opening a renewable energy plant. During the course of developing the Blue Mountain Faulkner project, NGP assembled a world-class development and operations team that's applying its expertise to other active projects. Pumpernickel is located in north central Nevada in Humboldt County. The Pumpernickel geothermal site is 100% leasehold covering over 10 square miles of geothermal lands. The site is accessible by highway and county roads 
and has access to three interconnect points to the local transmission grid. The Pumpernickel site is estimated to contain a 15 to 33 megawatt geothermal resource, enough electricity to power up to 24,000 homes. Edna Mountain is located within a few miles of NGP's Pumpernickel Valley project and covers 12 square miles of leases. Field exploration and research indicate that the area is within a favorable geological setting with significant evidence of past and present hydrothermal activity. Black Warrior is located 12 miles northwest of Brady's Hot Springs and Desert Peak geothermal power stations along Interstate Highway 80. The property is comprised of 10 square miles of leases and interconnects with four separate power transmission lines across the region. The leases include surface and water rights. The unique geology and regional fault structures at Black Warrior indicate that the project may have the capacity to produce between 55 and 126 megawatts. The Crump Geyser area is located in Warner Valley near Lakeview, Oregon. A power line connection to the regional power grid and a transformer substation are located approximately a quarter mile from the location. In the past few years, NGP has conducted field studies and surveys in order to plan for drilling and is estimated that the reservoir could produce 40 to 80 megawatts. And further expansion of Blue Mountain continues with the development of Phase 2 of the Faulkner Power Facility. Three of these projects are in the advanced development stage, or drill ready, supported by a vast amount of testing and data. With permits in place, this year NGP expects to drill several development wells on the Crump Geyser and Pumpernickel properties. With these active projects and the continuing research and testing of more potential geothermal properties, Nevada Geothermal Power expects to bring 137 megawatts online by 2014. Nevada Geothermal Power has achieved great success with its inaugural Blue Mountain Geothermal Facility, with a seasoned management team providing expertise in development, operations and financing, NGP is well positioned to execute its growth plan to develop additional geothermal properties and generate significant value for its shareholders over the next few years. For overall geothermal, it, it bodes very well in that uh, Nevada has just a ton of geothermal leases. Uh, a lot of people are really waiting around to see what happens at Blue Mountain. The power is on, revenues are up, and the future is bright for Nevada Geothermal Power Company. For more information, please call or visit our website. <music>